hear that Luke's moving on to pastures new. Oh, yeah, and he's such a lovely lad, you know. I just wish he'd get himself a bit settled somewhere. Yeah. Tell me about it. I'll be fine, Sean. Something will happen. Mm. Hey, you should try Norris's. I loved it there. We had a right laugh. There's no place like home, though. Oh, Beth, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Well, it sounds like Luke has finally seen sense. I mean, the last thing any man wants to do is get tangled up with Maria Connor. It's a bit harsh, Sal. Yeah, well, it wasn't long ago that Maria was bringing a rain of terror on Fizz's family. Oh, yeah, but that's all in the past now, Sally. I mean, that girl's unstable. They don't call her Mad Maria for nothing. Yeah. Any chance of a word? Somebody's in trouble. Mm. Aidan, I'm so sorry about last night. It's no need to apologise. Of course there is. Could have slapped my own face when I found out it would have been your mum's birthday. <sighs> Never mind all that. I've got something for you. <clears throat> I don't get it. I was the one in the wrong. Just open it, will you? Say something then. Oh, uh, well, don't you like it? Yeah, of course I do. Why? Well, I just don't want anything to come between us either. I really, really mean that. Last night was a blip. Let's just put it all behind us, okay? Yeah. I know it's not much, but. I just wanted to surprise you with something. Well, yeah, you've done that all right. It looks great. Where were you anyway? I was following you all night. Just with a mate. You'd better get back out there before the tongues start wagging. How about we catch up properly after work? Yeah. Okay. Look what Aiden's just brought me. Wow. You must be doing something right. Either that or he's got a guilty conscience. Oh. What? I was only saying. I knew that looked fantastic on you. I love it. Thank you so much. I've got taste, you see, in everything. Mm -hmm. Still don't get it. I act like an idiot and you buy me this. I thought we agreed to forget about it. Yeah, I have. So let's leave it then. Okay. Um, you know, last night. What about it? The mate you went to see, who was it? Paul. It was just because you've not mentioned him before. Oh, I haven't heard of him in ages. He just got in touch out of the balloon. He's been having a few problems. Oh, OK. What kind of problems? Uh, money problems. His wife just left him. Oh, poor guy. Oh, it'd be all right. Just needed a bit of company. So will you be seeing him again sometime soon? Yeah, so I'll see him again next week. <sighs> Listen, I know I've been taking you for granted. I just want to do something nice for you. Yeah, no, I, I love the necklace. Let's catch up later. Maybe go for a bite to win. Mm. Any chance of a tea? Oh, no, not for an hour or so, no. Oh, are you joking? Oh, guys, you should have booked. Uh, we'll, we'll go for a drink in a while to come back. Well, why don't you join Luke Maria? I guess that can't be style. I mean, nobody ever heard of a candle up there before. Okay, I'm starving. Yeah, they would mind. Come on. Five, four, three. Oh, don't be worrying about buying me jewelry. She says that, but you put me right under pressures. Still, though, I did shell out for the most important piece of jewelry of all. Well, second most. You two set a date yet? Nope, not yet. Yeah, we should really get around to that. Mm. What are you doing here? Oh, charming. Luke. I didn't mean it like that. Well, I was thinking if you wanted to stop out a bit longer, I could get Liam from the babysitter. Nice one. Cheers. Well, if you've not got to rush back, we could all go for a drink after this. Uh, I reckon I'm ready for an overnight. Hey, it looks so boring. Be right, laugh. Double dating. <laughs> By the way, you've not seen Liam's little red car, have you? No, why? I had a little tidy up. I can't find it anywhere. You know what he's like about it. Yeah, he's obsessed. Go mad, won't he, if you can't find that? You didn't see a red car knocking about last night, did you? Last night. Listen, um, 
I'll get going. I'm, I'm sure it'll turn up. Stay out as long as you want. I'll put Liam to bed. I thought you were at your mates last night. What's going on? There's a really simple explanation. <laughs> yeah. Is there? Yeah. Of course there is, isn't there? Th of course. <laughs> Come on, kids, I'm waiting. Well... He basically, he came round to mine because he wanted a second opinion. Yeah. Are you sure you want me to tell her? Because I know that you wanted this to be a surprise. Well, I know it looks bad, but... Look, basically, he wanted a second opinion because he's been looking for flats for you two. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You weren't that keen last week. I just saw how much it meant to you, babe. Proper little Sarah Bean are you, aren't you? Got a good eye for proper to me. <laughs> she has, yeah. You want to surprise me? Yeah. Oh, Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's what you want, and, well, I didn't want to screw it up, so... Wait, but come on, show me a picture. Oh, well, that's the problem. Maria hated the flat. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there was too much chrome in uh, that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it <was> just... yeah. <laughs> right, well, you could have shown me, you know. Well, yeah, I know I said that to him, but he just he didn't want to mess it up and... Oh, I feel right draft now. <laughs> There's me thinking you were... Oh, well, at least you know you want to live with me. Mm -hmm. mm, it certainly looks that way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you know, I knew he was hiding something. I swear to God, I'm psychic. Really need to, like, start tuning in to myself. What? <laughs> well, this calls for a celebration. Shall we get drinks in? Uh, my card's behind the back. No, me and Marie can... Oh, yeah, come on, give your hand a bit glasses, Luke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you cost me a fortune tonight. What do you think you're playing at? Playing at? I didn't behave. I've just rescued you. You rescued yourself, and I've got to go along with the consequences. What? What's the problem? Do you not want to move in with Goldilocks, no? Are you enjoying this? Do you know what? I almost feel sorry for her. I think I had a lucky escape. <sighs> There's nothing lucky about what happened last night. All right, Aiden. I get it. I got it the first time you told me I'm a massive mistake. You don't have to know how to make a girl feel special, you. And you want to get back on track with Luke, else he's going to suspect. Can you just leave him out of it, please? Do you not think I feel guilty enough as it is? Well, it's not his fault. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. You actually feel more sorry for him than you do for me. You really know how to twist the knife, don't you? Where are you going? Maria! Is she all right? I, I, I don't know. I think she just... What's wrong with Maria? Needed to get some air or something. All right, stop buying him up. Oh, no, I don't believe it. I'm not them up. I'm just wondering where Maria is. Well, wherever she is, she's just dumped Luke. Can you believe that? I need to call her. Maybe you should do that in your break. Why would she do that? I don't know. But, you know, you were, you were describing your perfect house. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Cheshire. Do you know what I mean? Somewhere a bit waggy. Cheshire? A bit of a schlep. You know, like driving about and fields. Wilmslow's nice. Alderley Edge. Oh! Alderley Edge is to die for. Babe, I just remembered something. What? How much you love me? You're only human, babe. No, I've got, I've got a conference call with, with the guys in, in Glossop in about ten minutes. Babe, everyone's bailing on me. I, I, I'll see you when I see you. I think the card's behind the bar and I'll settle up later. Okay.